All right. Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, it's been quite a while now. Uh, almost a week, I think, since my last video. So... We just ended up back here in reality again. Let's see. Head to the ground, Bill. Yeah, I've been scouting around. Nothing getting a minute. Place is crawling with rosers since then. Okay. Hello. Don't have anything to say. How about you? Wiltanji Radcliffe. Yes? Who is it? Alice Little, Mr. Radcliffe. Ah, oh, you're back. I suppose you better come up. Mind the latch. <laughs> Nothing in here. Huh? Okay, let's go upstairs. Radcliffe, who can make even fascinating subjects boring, says the curved blade is a 16th century Meito katana and the shorter sword is called Kishashi, both used by Japanese samurai. Alright. Surrender porcelain. Mr. Radcliffe says, is the Ming Dynasty's finest, beautiful shapes, best colors, and most prized decorations. Okay. Oh, there he is. You do have my rabbit. Forgotten your man. The rabbit. And what else, I wonder? You abandoned it at Rutledge Asylum, my dear. We've been over this before. In a huff as usual, oozing with attitude and accusatory flummery, I've stolen her rabbit. Ridiculous pretext. She's here about the fire again. All the mad child wants to talk about. My report found her family dead by misadventure. She won't accept it. It goes on and on about her killing memories and her need to know the truth. The alleged truth is, the fire began in the library when the cat knocked over a lamp. The blaze trapped her parents and sister upstairs. Sister Lizzie never even unlocked her door. Died in her bed. The guilty cat always sets her off. She denies it. Makes no sense. It can't be, etc. Agreed. And from the outset, Alice was my candidate for the pyromaniac. The girl had a fixation with fire. I once remarked that I thought she might have had a larger role in causing the tragedy. She suffered some sort of psychotic episode. Okay. Did I rip his head off? I wanted to. What's left of my brain will explode. Oh. Is it mad to pray for better hallucinations? Perhaps I'm fated to expire right here. Oh. All movables and effects are gone. Nothing but dust stains and smell of tobacco. No sign of the coroner's report or my rabbit either. Damn him. Hmm. Oh, that's the same. Okay, this is weird. It's 
all empty. And it's winter. Okay. And some mushrooms. Okay. I think this is maybe another part of. Yep. It's not the reality. <laughs> This bloody ruin! It's corrupting all of Wonderland! Seeking refuge from the wicked world? Perhaps things only look like they've gone to hell. You're not that good a liar, and I'm not that stupid. But something a bit less calamitous would have been welcome. This unmitigated disaster is your doing, and it will get worse. Your train keeps a hellish schedule. Get moving. Time waits for no one. The change has begun. The train is perfectly capable of terrifying me, Cat. You should find another job. Is there really so little hope? There's even less, and if fear paralyzes you, we are lost. Whale of Doom. Right. Thank you for watching. I think this will be it for today and we will continue tomorrow. And we are in chapter 3 now. Bye.